Hello everyone. Hello folks, welcome to the Hombu Dojo podcast. We are coming to you from Dublin. We need a jingle. <laughs> I, I should get on that, yeah. This is yeah. probably like episode 12, 13 or something. We, we're not we're sure. We're a jingle. Yeah. But, uh, da 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 That's <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> this is the podcast where we talk about karate, we talk about our karate lives, we talk about our experience here in HDKI's Hombu Dojo in Dublin, and just the general martial arts chit chat. And uh, uh, as you have all been been excitedly keeping up with Kevin's progress here in Dublin during his internship, this is a very sadly Kevin's last day. Kevin's last podcast oh. with us, last full day in the dojo. Yeah, yeah. Last day in the dojo, full stop. Uh, yeah. Yeah. How, you, how you feel about that, Kev? Hey, um, you know it's 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 exciting, you know, because you you show up here and you're thinking, boy, I'm going to be here for a month, and then it's like. Man, that's a, that's a, seems like an awfully long time to be gone away from home. Mm -hmm. and, and then you're like a weekend to it. And you're like, okay, I did the first week. Good, I got three. And then you're like, well, I still got three more weeks left. And then also it just keeps like week by week. And then you're like, oh, the time's gone by. You know, so mm -hmm. you feel it went by quickly? Um, yes and no. Okay. I mean, when you're in it and you're going, you're like, uh, sometimes it's a day by day or class by class type of situation yeah. like I remember doing like the first Tabata and I straight away I was like I three more to go <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm yeah, so yeah. You're, you're giving yourself these little like uh goals and just little uh marks on the road map of boom, boom, boom. and then you kind of just see time going and then it got to like um you know like the middle of last week and it's like oh I'm you know this is about done mm -hmm. you know it's about through so it it, it can go it has its slow moments mm -hmm. and then it has it boy you look at it and it's like phew, it's done mm -hmm. you know? I remember feeling the same way it's hard to tell whether the time flew or whether the time dragged it yeah. depends on how you're feeling day to day yeah mm. yeah it feels yeah. like it's flown in for me I feel like I only just yeah. got here yeah, yeah. Mm. if you're here then you're gone gone too soon yeah. man yeah miss yeah you. it's a shame yeah but um, it's wrapped up. You're you're officially flying back tomorrow morning. We're gonna have a nice wee farewell little wee drink, drink tonight with you. Um, but the question is, have you made the most of this experience? Yeah, I think that's a loaded question too, <laughs> right? I mean, well, this I mean, is a podcast. It is. Let's hash it out. <laughs> yeah. I, I uh, repeat that again. Have you made the most? Do you think, do you feel like you've made the most of it? Have you gotten as, as as much as you thought you would out of this, more, less, um, you know. I, I definitely can say I've I've walked, I'm walking away from this with just so much information, I, so much feedback, like, you know, uh, finding the, you know, the flaws of things that I got to work, definitely go home and just keep working, working on. And, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a, just so much Right there on that. What would you think is the biggest thing you're going to take away if you if you can put it into one? Right. Uh, one is back leg drive. Back <laughs> leg drive. Back leg drive. It should have its own Facebook page. <laughs> 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 yeah, it just seemed, you know, and that's like I taught the class was just uh, the class that I did just back leg drive. Yeah. And it it, it wasn't something that definitely that I uh, felt like. Oh, this is my niche because mm -hmm. it was something that was like kept being reinforced constant. It was like the weak, the weakness, and you know one of the one of the weaknesses. So it's just like, oh, this makes sense. <laughs> I've been told this over and over again. So very easy to just try to put it in a class. Ross and say, just in case some of our listeners aren't quite sure what we're talking about, maybe they have a different term for it. What is back leg drive? Um, it's how you put power into your technique like the most fundamental principle for me is how back leg drive is is pushing using the floor to send your body weight forward it is oizuki it is yakuzuki it is any forward motion that you're using in a technique it's the most important thing I named the cadet! <laughs> yeah. So I'll continue working on that. Okay. But I think I got the seed planted in there and it's, yeah. it's just going to come through. Good. With more training. Good. Um, I mean, you know, there's, there's lots, you know, so much uh, like upper body tension. Uh, 
it's just I'm just like it's ingrained in me yeah. and that maybe that was one of the most frustrating things to have to hear because I think I'm going back like three maybe four years ago when I first started like going to Scott Sensei seminar he would always tell me too tight mm -hmm. <laughs> relax mm -hmm. relax and then I thought I was getting better like I'd I'd go and he, I was like oh he did he'd say it like every time I'd see him then eventually I guess maybe he got tired of telling me about yeah, it because yeah, like yeah. oh he's not saying nothing about it. <laughs> and I was like then I come here and it was like Kevin <laughs> Kevin <laughs> just relax <laughs> it's like fuck <laughs> yeah yeah so upper body tension trying to be relaxed I think I'm just too much in my head you know I mean it just seems like the you you you're coming here and you want to perform your best so you're thinking maybe too much about every little thing going on okay because that that leads into what i wanted to ask you about because so did you make the most of it and you started talking about the information you received the feedback you received okay. technical stuff what about from a more cycle uh, like an emotional point of view oh uh, yeah i mean i think that <sighs> I mean, for me, kind of, it is like an emotional roller coaster. You got your ups and downs. I mean, the training's just uh, very physical if you haven't really pushed yourself down that avenue of just, you know, uh, having good cardio in your training mm -hmm. onto it. So there was that part of just like uh, just hoping you survive, which you know, you're, I mean, in your head, you're like, it's a class and it's got this time it starts and this time it's it's going to finish yeah sure onto it but everything in between you know you're just like okay, i gotta you know just try, trying to keep up with uh -huh. everything going on i i mean that it, it could be a a struggle probably for a lot of people that if they choose to come and do the internship well it's you've got no i think no matter how fit you are you've got to say like when we're doing tabata training on tuesdays you've got to struggle if you're not struggling, it's because you're not pushing yourself hard enough. We've yeah. spoken about this on yeah, the podcast yeah. before. You can be the fittest guy in the world, but you can still push yourself to the point where you can't breathe anymore. You want to puke. Mm -hmm. And Kevin puked. I did puke. Yeah. Just, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, 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 just right station. at the end. <laughs> Fair play. Yeah. He wanted to quit, but we, we politely encouraged him not to. <laughs> and to be fair, to all credit to him, he didn't. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. It came with a price. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But don't you just feel so much better? better about yourself yeah after doing I, that. I, I, he, not definitely. physically but definitely yeah but i mean you you feel like you feel like crap because you're dragging your ass because you're <laughs> wore, you're wore out and i'm you know everybody's struggling at their different different level uh -huh. but definitely when you got two speed demons on the side of you brrr, all the way down the floor and you're like dum, 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 dum. <laughs> you're just like fuck it <laughs> you know? it's like i'm done yeah well so, uh, mentally you just i think a lot of it's mental you just tear yourself down yeah and just kind of like this morning i had a moment where uh, in my head like all night long i was telling myself like man i just don't feel like it tomorrow i just feel defeated yeah. and my foot's been in pain and yeah. it's like i don't want to put any more weight on it and it's like but then you're you're telling yourself but it's just one class just go out and do it but you're like oh, but no and then i had you know ross, F ross just movie. like just get out there and stand <laughs> but of course i just i didn't sit out there and stand i couldn't do that but i you know you're given your own stuff to do but like obviously yeah. you're you're in you're in a bit of a state man you're you're, you're not feeling great your foot's probably broken <laughs> by the looks of it um, yeah, yeah man, you, you've bad. struggled you've struggled through it um oh, credit to you man we're, we're very proud of you uh, i think uh, you, you can walk away with your head held high definitely um but yeah like you're again i think with a anyone who wants to come over here and do this like just like the key thing is man never never be the one who quits never be the one who steps off like like i said kevin this morning it's like just just go out there and fucking stand up on mm -hmm. the floor and you'll be you'll feel better about yourself afterwards you know because you've been there right the way through to the end don't fall at the last hurdle yeah, you know the, and, the very and last again, day. we're not we're not monsters we're not going to say like you know you're feeling like crap you're injured and stuff or you have to do every single thing that we're doing no like okay your job is to hit the makiwara and work on you know the things that we've been telling back you leg and stuff, drive. Back leg drive, drive. <laughs> and, and like we'll give yeah. you certain stuff that's you know more catered to how your body's holding up and stuff like that you know um, yeah yeah i guess in my head I, I just you know kept thinking that you know i gotta 
do the classes. I'm going to do what you guys are doing, and, which I have been doing mm -hmm. through the whole thing. It's just mm -hmm. this last, you know, little leg here uh, this morning. So it's like I can't I, – in my head I defeated myself. On to, the, the foot thing is unlucky because you can't really escape from a possibly broken foot. When I was on the – uh, internship. It was my hand. My right hand was really swollen uh, from hitting the makiwara, and there's there's still a bit. There's a bit right here that moves that shouldn't move. I don't think. When you press down on this knuckle <laughs> here, there's something moving under there. Yeah. Uh, but my piano playing hasn't suffered anyway. Ah, good, but uh, good, good, what was good. I going to say? Yeah, yeah, I was lucky. It was a hand really, and not a not yeah. a foot. We've all got bits of us that are. Broken. Not quite right. <laughs> <laughs> stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess they add, they make good stories. He, he just said yeah. it the best. The thing that makes someone tough is just not not saying, complaining, not complaining, just getting on with it, keeping like, quiet. Uh, and I've never forgotten that. It was a very good line. Like mm -hmm. just answered. Yeah, AJ's just wise beyond his years. <laughs> you know? But he but he only lets it out from time to time. Yeah. You get wise guys who will spout their wisdom. You know, whenever you ask them, AJ, he'll be stony silent until the the time is just right. But the, about the internship, I think that possibly uh, some people have the wrong idea and that it, you see, so we deliberately, I think, don't call it a can't you say program because it's not a pass or fail thing. You come here and you do your time and you get out of it what you can or what you want. We facilitate the person, we we provide the opportunity for them to get the most out of this that they can, but it really de depends on the individual, yeah? Definitely. Um, and we've had people who would have been kicked straight off of a regular Ken say program. You know, we've had people who were a bit lazy, uh, not really doing their best, not really trying to absorb the technical uh, input that they were getting, not pushing them classes, themselves, showing up late. Skipping trainings, yeah, yeah. like... Um, but then we have people like you, Kevin, who push until they puke. Yeah. So fair play. Yeah. Good job. Be one of those people. Yeah. Um, but so, what was the what was the your best moment of the internship, and what was the toughest moment? Wow. Best and worst. I, the best, best and worst. worst. I, I mean, I think there there's a few of them. Like you know, being it, it's uh, like the first time I've ever been out of the country. So it was like, oh, I'm getting to go travel and um, got my passport for the first time and nice. went overseas. So, you know, that was all very exciting. So it was like, yeah, I'm going to Dublin. And, and then I think some of it was like, I really didn't get to go out and, you know, adventure into Dublin onto it at the same time. And not, uh, not that I didn't have the opportunities. I just think it, it was that I, um, I wanted to be focused on the training onto it and I think on my downtime I was more interested in resting you know yeah. Um, yeah so you know I'm 44 years old and you're just like this has just been like training t <laughs> spiked yeah. way up yeah. and my body definitely took the took some toll What's on it on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my body was in panic so if I had a day off like a Sunday was pretty much down it's like yeah I think I'm just gonna just Lie rest and lay down <laughs> yeah so yeah. best the opportunity uh, to travel worst, yeah, worst the I, opportunity I mean the like lack the, of opportunity to make the most out of being in a yeah, foreign country <laughs> yeah so that and you know and I think you know part of it is you know uh leaving your leaving your family yeah you know for a whole month I've never done that before so you know I had a have Jane at home who's uh just a I, she's an EQ I, no, she's an EQ. I'm, oh, 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 sorry about that, Jane. <laughs> I, so she's an EQ preparing for Shodan, and she's been running the dojo. Right? So I mean, I think that's I mean that's just huge for a brown belt that's just taken over the role of running everything, mm -hmm. not just teach, just teaching the classes, dealing with all the parents, ordering uniforms, you know, and just yeah. making sure all the bills got paid there. So um, I think that. It was tough leaving home, tough like leaving her in that position. I, but I think so. She kind of had her own kind of well done, uh, Jean. Yeah, yeah, fair play. Jean. Her own <laughs> yeah. her own little trial. While yeah. I was over here going through my trial, she was definitely at home. Just so you know, Jean, every complaint you've made to to Kevin has been echoed in the dojo with. <laughs> 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 She's a 
Game C trailer, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, under the bus, Cam. Under the bus. Yeah. Enjoy your time down there, man. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's. I think it's. I think it. It might have been uh, such a thing where you. Uh, you know, she. She. It's been a challenge for her for you to have this opportunity to come over here. So to make the most out of it was, there was maybe that added extra motivation to make the most out of it, seeing as you were uh, putting under putting other people in a situation where they had to work extra yeah. hard and to facil facilitate you. So yeah, yeah you, that's yeah. what you did. I mean, it was like, I was given this great opportunity, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I, I took the opportunity, it was putting burden on other people too. So it was like a like best, worst, love, hate, like I'm yeah. getting to do this and uh, definitely wouldn't be here without Jane's support on, you know, saying you need to go do this and I'll take care of things here. Yeah. And I know she had her moments of just her brain just being shattered. You know, she's hosting <laughs> AJ over yeah. there and doing everything. So, yep. Yeah. So kudos to Jane. Kudos I, to you, Jane. Props. And, um, so what could be better about this internship for, right. for our, we always want to improve, innovate, how uh, can we make this a better experience for the next poor soul that wanders into this place? <laughs> I think they deserve to walk into this place just how it is. I mean, I, it, it is, a. it's, it's definitely not, um, uh, candy coated in any way. I mean, it, it kind of is like w what it is here. Um, I couldn't think of anything like to say, like, would I and what would you improve? I mean, like, um, like nice living quarters into yeah, it. I, I mean, like a, a, a nice uh, wall mounted TV with <laughs> you know, Netflix playing or something. Yeah. I mean, it, it's definitely not, um, you know, like a luxury hotel room yeah. or something. So, so you, you're thinking, well, what could. I start thinking, what could I am, uh, what could be improved, and I think it's more of the of yourself when you come in, you know, what what do you improve? How do you accept your, you get thrown into this habitat, and you're like, hmm, okay, how do how do I make the most? Because you can take it, you can go down one kind of avenue where you're just like, eh, or or you can just you know just like, okay, I'm gonna take make the most of this. Mm -hmm. Onto it, so I think it's it's kind of like the, I think everybody's, everybody probably just has their own experience, uh, with the with the place, onto it, with the whole internship. Um, I don't know if that made fair any enough, sense if, if at that's all. Your answer. But what I'm saying <laughs> is, I, it, how do you improve it? It's it's a it's a system of you're coming in, you're. You know what you're living here. Yeah. You know the training's going to be hard, and uh, you just you make the most out of all that. I I just couldn't say. I mean, you're, you're training one under one of the best karate st instructors in the world. Thank you. How can you? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever wants to jump up and claim what I just said, I guess it's rude to say today. Yes, and the best instructors. I mean, you guys are hard. I've never seen people train and work as hard as the instructors here at HDKI. So, <gasps> yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I think people watch the videos and they're like, oh, yeah, you can do that. Move them up down the floor, jump it off boxes. <laughs> and then you're like, okay. Then you step into it and you're like, oh, they're, I mean, they're moving really well. They're moving very fast. And you're like, these guys are good. So, how can you improve on uh, just such a top quality organization? With a, a great teacher, with great instructors. Easy now. He's a bit, getting a bit Ma sycophantic I mean, there now. Okay. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'm like a psycho <laughs> fan or something. But, I mean, it's it's just true. Everybody knows Scott Sensei's reputation. Yeah. So to say, well, how do you improve on that? I, I just don't know. I think you got to improve yourself and your attitude when you walk in here. Because it's very easy to uh, mentally be beat down and frustrated mm -hmm. with yourself. And be like, eh. You know, or b say this is too tough or well, I, you know. I agree with you that if anything could be improved it would be the living conditions but 
I think the lack of comfort comfort is in a way part of the experience. Yeah. I mean, do you think like uh, like you mentioned the oh, there's a microwave. You can micro. I said, but the I gotta pull this microwave <laughs> yeah. out That's from a heavy microwave, carry it all the way across here, <laughs> plug it in, and it's like after you know you're like oh, it's like nah, just find other things to eat. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> something cold. No, <laughs> maybe that's just being lazy, or maybe you're just exhausted by the end of the day. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like you know, lugging this around. Yeah. You know, so little things, but in the end, how can you uh, complain about things so petty, you know, as as uh, living quarters? I mean, there's a roof over your head. you got a place to lay your head right, on it. I, I didn't have to worry about driving back and forth somewhere. Yeah. I was already here. So there's a lot of benefits to just being right on the premises, I think, also. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. And lastly, any any words of advice you would give to anyone coming to do this internship? What's the if you give them sort of a, a, a small list of things that they need to to work on, they need to come prepared with, or a mindset, anything like that to to prepare them to do the internship. Well, uh, definitely don't just bring flip flops. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Such an American thing. Wait, did you, you mean those are the only footwear you brought with you? Yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you went to the shop. And I to went to the store and, and bought another pair of shoes. But because I realized, oh, that's nobody does that. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm looking around, I'm like, lot. nobody's wearing flip flops here, <laughs> but everybody wears them in the states. It's just like even you know you see most karate instructors that just uh, say, don't flip flops on, you're gone wow. onto it. So I came here like, um, I think you know I need something different to wear. <laughs> so definitely. Uh, Think about what you want to bring with you. I came very light. I really just brought two doggies and um, just a couple outfits to switch in and out of, and that was about it. I mean, I, I wouldn't overpack because you can get certain things here, like you, you know, your basic toothbrush and yeah. toothpaste and all that. You might. I, I don't well. get. I don't get anyone else would come quite as lightly. Yeah. Like dishes, so I don't need to worry about that. Yeah, yeah that <laughs> I was... don't bring a pair of shoes. You know? <laughs> no gym shoes, no hiking what about shoes, no nothing. Preparing your body for the right, training. Okay, so I definitely you're you're one I want to uh, come with your cardio intact, mm -hmm. right, and that's one thing I, you know I kick myself for because Simon since they told me months ago you need to be doing this, you need to be doing that, but I think you just get sucked into your day-to-day -day life and, yeah, you're, and you're trying to prepare and get things ready because you're going to be gone for a month yeah. and it just goes by and then I got here and I was like, yes, cardio fail. <laughs> 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 yeah, so ha you know, have your cardio intact because it's definitely going to be push to the limits and even if you have good cardio like we talked about you're gonna have to push your good cardio to its yeah, limits so true. i mean maybe you're just screwed anyway yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, no matter what that's and that was almost kind of my attitude because i was like well what am i going to train to do to prepare myself because no it was almost like no matter what i do it's probably not going to be the same here anyway point. onto it but maybe that's just a lazy way out <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i think my answer to that back in the day was just eat lots of chocolate <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> while you're on the while you're on the on the internship for, yeah. for energy you know for sugar yeah. yeah what else to prepare yourself for i mean i think you do gotta you do have to be a little mentally tough on here because you i mean one you're going to be pushed to the breaking point i think I think most people should be, at least I was, and um, you're going to have to be able to deal with that mm -hmm. and not give up onto it. So, yeah, be mentally tough, too. Be prepared that you're going to get a lot of feedback, um, Not, and it's not like it's feedback where they're just breaking you down, but I think you hear the feedback, and then you're, you're breaking yourself down mm -hmm. onto it, even though it could be positive feedback, you know, if that makes sense, too. Onto sure. it. So be, you know, uh, come uh, with more than flip flops. Right? <laughs> May work on your cardio because uh, it's going to be tough physically, and you know, be a little mentally tough to be able to deal with uh, being here for a month. And it, maybe you may might get homesick. You mm -hmm. know, maybe you may get hurt, and you're trying to figure out how am I going to continue this training on. You know, not being at 100%. Because mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. think the training's kind of hard enough when you're even feeling good. Uh, you know, so be, be a little mentally tough. 
I think the biggest thing is to come with that ability to just switch on, you know? Like, because we're, we're very li- laid back, especially, mm-hmm. like, like, before we start training, we're sitting down, we're having a tea, coffee, mm-hmm. whatever, we're chit-chatting, we're taking the piss out of each other, we're, we're very chilled and relaxed. We go on, we stretch, we warm up, we're very chilled and relaxed. And then you have to be able to just go from that totally chilled mindset and just switch like, yeah. completely to, the, okay, I'm going to... I'm going to be the fastest on the doors. I'm going to be the strongest. I'm going to be technically as close to perfect as I can be. Mm-hmm. I need to be able to just go in and out of that quite quick, you know? And I, I think some people um, in the past who have come on here have, have treated it like a holiday. Um, some people have been a bit too serious maybe at some, t- at some points when it's like, look, listen, you need to be able to, to chill out, relax in order to get the most out of this at some points as well. I think um, people can be like so... Uh, closed off at times they don't absorb things if you're not relaxed you're not listening you're not enjoying it if you're not enjoying it there's you're not going to learn yeah you're just kind of sort of trudging through it yeah um, actually we've probably been giving the imp- people the impression right now in the last half an hour mm. that it's that it's like boot camp or something that it's like the we're marine very, corps we're very we do have the nice. crest mm, yeah very I nice. mean, it, it, and, and uh, <laughs> people know that people yeah, the training's it, hard but the camar- there's camaraderie right oh, yeah. Kevin <laughs> oh definitely I mean like I can see like I, I mean just the chemistry between everybody it is a laid back atmosphere and people joke together and they laugh and they kid each other and it's 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 not just a you know people just shouting in your face yeah yeah, (laughs) you know it never it never was i mean yeah i mean you you get the feedback and there's those serious moments like um you're gonna get hit if you don't move yeah (laughs) so but uh definitely like when we come in in the morning training i think people get here a half hour early you know it's not like you just walk in and you're like oh let's go do this i think there's that whole build up of you're just sitting down having a a drink of tea and you're just talking about daily stuff yeah and then you're like okay then you get ready and then you go out and you sit out there and stretch which i found like how much I love stretching now. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Because at I first I was like, oh, what, are forever. We, what are we all just sitting on? <laughs> then after the you know first few days, my muscles are screaming at me. And it's like, oh, now we're going to go out and stretch. Yeah. yeah I think I've but. said it before. It's probably the friendliest, you know, instructor's training kind of program. Can't you say internship, whatever you want to call it? Without a doubt. I, but I think, uh, again, but it's important to have that, that balance. And again, I know that when I say flip the switch, it's like, it's that way, again, some people have come on with the wrong attitude and we will not give you that, we won't stand behind you with a stick mm-hmm. beating you until you get it right. If you're not putting the effort in, you will find very quickly that we will leave you be. Yeah. If we don't see you putting, like, because we, if we're putting our effort into you at the start of this, like, we will always give people the time of day. We'll always offer our help um, and again, facilitate all your needs and stuff. Anything that uh, you're struggling with or anything like that, whether it be on the dojo or off the dojo, everyone here is very helpful. And if we don't see that being reciprocated on the dojo with your effort that you're putting in, you will feel like we will, <laughs> we will just leave you to it. Yeah, very quickly. You become ig- like ignored, pretty much. Yeah, you will just become you know the the dojo punching bag. <laughs> Big, uh, yeah, you've you, got to rise to it. Yeah, you, you've got to. So I think it, the for me that like when I see interns of different shapes, sizes coming in, regardless of their level, their ability, their fitness, be able to have the be able to relax and enjoy yourself first and foremost, and then second of all, work fucking hard, man. Yeah. And if you're not putting the work in, what's the point? You know. Yeah. Put the work in, and if even if it's uh, everything's wrong, if it's all over the place. You're working hard. We're going to be there to help you every step of the way. Hmm. You know. Yep. But I think, that, yeah, for me, that's the most important thing uh, with that kind of stuff. Hmm. Yep. Speaking of working hard, Ruben. Yeah. It's, it's it's the time is upon us. We've been travelling this road for a long oh, time. Oh damn! The long road. It's been a road, a ne- road to Nidan. Me on the road to Nidan. You on the road to Yondan. And, and the road is nearly at an end. It's, it's next week, man. Oh, How you feeling, bro? I'm terrified, man. Yeah. Really scared. What? What? You, what is, what's scary? Well, uh, we've we've talked about it a bunch on the podcast, but now I don't even know what to say. I I can't decide what's going to go well, and I can't decide what's going to go badly. Uh, there's things I've been trying to iron out, uh, polishes, 
to my waza. I've been trying to polish that haven't really taken hold. So I've got a, a, like a week and a bit, a week and a half to really, really focus on those things. Things like that shakiness every time I make kime. And I'm doing that in inverted commas, folks. Um, and uh, things like uh, being wobbly in my kihon. But it is what it is. My karate is the way it is. I have worked hard. Um, not too worried about kumite, but to be honest. Well, I mean, worried is like, I don't know, what am I trying to say? You feel confident about your kumite now? You think that's going to be your strongest point? Well, it, it's hard to say because the type of, the, the, I, I have an idea of who I'm going to be paired up against. And I don't imagine that I'm going to be able to, here come more inverted commas, folks, get the better of them. But there's only one thing I have to do, and that's fight head on, right? And do do, well, do, yeah. do what I can, fight well and do what I can. I don't have to. I don't have to beat anybody into submission. So uh, if I can flick that switch, yes, you do this. <laughs> 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 if I can flick that switch and do my best, then I'm not worried about kumite. I get a fair bit of kumite practice in this dojo, pairing up with guys who uh, pairing up with you guys, um, and you know, always just trying my best to hold my own. So. Yeah. Yeah, well, there's no doubt you've been working hard because, I mean, from the time I've got here, you're after every class going through your kata, asking for feedback, you know, doing extra reps of, of things. So I, I, I think you're going to do just fine. Oh, thank yeah. you, Kevin. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you've put the work in. Yeah. I mean, what more could you ask for somebody? Yeah. Yeah. I think in conclusion, I'm just a little bit fried right now. I can't wait for it to happen. I can't wait for it to be over. I think when the day comes, I'm going to be on fire in my head, you know, and... You just need to come in like go uh, Ross and say with the headphones on. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to listen to corn. Eight miles I'm soundtrack stick or something. On my corn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Edit. <No. laughs> go on, your turn, Ross. Um... The road to you undone. Yeah, I'm starting, I'm starting to feel a wee tingly, a wee tingly feeling now yeah. when I think about it, which yeah. is nice. Uh, no, I'm excited. Uh, I'm, uh, there's a bit of nerves coming now. Um, you know, those good nerves, those nerves that are going to carry through the day, give you that extra yeah. that boost. So every time I think about it, I get that that itch, you know. I, it's like, I was thinking, like, last night like, when I came in after classes, I was in the house and I just thought, I just started thinking about it, and before I knew it, I was going through all the katas and stuff, mm -hmm. and I was throwing punches in midair, and I was just like, let's go, you know? So I'm, I'm, re I'm raring to go, man. I can't wait. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm looking forward to Denmark in general, man. It's going yeah. to be a great, like, I think it's full to capacity. It's going to be a great time. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, just, you know, you got to pray to the karate gods that you don't, you know, fall flat in your face on the floor. Oh, <laughs> the day. that, man. Oh, uh, stop. Or if you forget your kata. Has that ever happened to you? On a grading, no. It's what happened about to in me. a competition? It's happened to me in a competition, and I remember, I, you know, it's, I, I only remember it happening, it happening to me once, and I remember exactly, it was a, a competition in uh, Scotland, it was a very small one, where the stand, it was with Henry Higgins, um, and one other of his students, and myself went to this competition, he was a young lad, and he had it in the bag, his cat, like, had it in, he had it won, you yeah. know, and we went through all the rounds, and he was going, uh, Final kata, and he cocked up. He forgot it halfway through. No. I was like, "No way!" I was like, oh, that's such a shame for the wee man." And to his delight, I was in the final, went out, cocked mine up, and he was sitting pissing himself <laughs> the side of the thing. And I was going, "Jesus Christ!" It just shows you, you know. Both of you for forgot it. Both of us, and we were just like, "What are the chances?" Because it was, you know, one of those ones, a small competition we had in the bag. Yeah. It was just. <laughs> <laughs> totally gone so never get complacent <laughs> yeah. this is the, the moral there but yeah that's the the one time that has happened to me um i'm confident enough that you know i'll be switched on on a day like nothing i don't think anyone will phase me um, anything like that. I'm, uh, I'm ready i'm good to go like i'm 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 uh, it's as good as it's gonna get <laughs> i'm not gonna make any drastic yeah. transformations in a week you know so the next time we speak to you folks we will either have passed or failed our gradings yeah. So stay tuned. I was just thinking that. I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> thinking of every joke that Scott says is expensive made 
over the last uh. <laughs> year and a half. I'm sort of, oh, you're sweating. <laughs> sweating. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, hopefully he doesn't hold it against me. Um, no, I, I'm looking forward to it. And there's quite a, there's, there's quite a busy grading, so there'll be a lot of bodies there. It'll be it'll be a great atmosphere, I think. It'll be mm-hmm. be high level. Um, like last year, like uh, last year's one with Dono, AJ, um, a lot of the guys from Denmark grading. That was a really high level grading. Mm. Really good, so like it's uh, yeah, it's going to be great fun. It's going to be great fun. But in the meantime, let's do our fails <laughs> of the week. <laughs> I know what. Are you laughing because you remember mine? I remember yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I guess I'll go first. Can I set the scene? Go on. <laughs> okay, so we're having a, a, a weekly. We have a weekly meeting here in the dojo. Staff meeting. And uh, and this, we're all getting together and. One thing is that uh, we're talking about is uh, a wee reminder of how important it is to keep track of every penny that comes and goes in the dojo. All the small petty cash. It's really important that we we document, like keep keep like tabs on how much is going in and out because it's important. And of course that's important. But there's times you know when you know it's after a grade and then somebody hands you a fiver for a belt or something like that, and you've got like twenty people in the class. You put it to the side and you fire it in the box and you forget to write it down. Mm-hmm. Um, simple things like that. Um, really important to keep tabs on that. Scott was making himself very clear. We're all saying, yep, yep, yep. And then <laughs> someone remembers. <laughs> and I said, oh, that reminds me. I've got some money in my bag. Oh, it was a while ago, but I think it's just a grading fee, 17 euro or something like that. Hang on, it's in an envelope. I'll go and get it. Ran in. I right. got. <laughs> Scott's like, for <laughs> four. For fuck's sake. He's like, this is what I'm talking about. So I ran into the dressing room, got my bag, opened it up. Dug out the envelope and I was like, "There you go, yeah, uh, the envelope there. It's just got a few quid in it. Um, I'll write it down in the book afterwards." Scott opened the envelope and we won't. Okay, not going to say how much it was. It was a year's trading fees. It was a check. It was a check for somebody's membership for the whole year. <laughs> One student's year's <laughs> membership paid in full. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> and it had been in my bag the, the date on the check was there and it had been in my bag for a whole month yeah, <laughs> yeah we had a good laugh man. he's been going on a wee rant about how important it is to keep track of the money and you come in with <laughs> <laughs> a year's worth of cash and it's just, oh his face, my heart never. And you were, you felt really bad. You were like, you were like I'm, I'm so sorry. You were going to stop laughing, man. I'm in trouble. <laughs> yeah. like, it's like, prove <laughs> my point. Right you kept there. taking the piss, and I was but trying to be actually, you know, res- uh, what did you say? Actually resentful or, you know, sorry for sorry what I've done. Remorse for what you've done. That's it, remorseful. <laughs> trying to be remorseful, but you kept just taking the piss. Oh, man. Mm. That was so good. Yep. So, <gasps> all you dojos out there, keep track of your money. <laughs> Don't be like me. <laughs> what was your feel, we Kev? Um, okay, so, um, <clears throat> I'm on my search for pain relief. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that didn't start out good. <laughs> so, I go over to, is it, is it Tesco? Okay. Is that what it is? I'm like, um, I'm looking through every, you know, all the medicine, and I'm like, I don't see ibuprofen. So, I go up there, and I'm like, you got ibuprofen. He's like, uh, no, we don't sell that over the counter. I'm like, okay. So I'm sitting there in my head going, it's going to be a long night. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to go back here. This was the kicker. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to grab a beer and just relax. So I grab the beer, come up. And he's like, and we don't sell beer after <laughs> this time. Oh, so I'm, no. I'm like, I was, I was like, I walked out empty handed and was like, eh, that's my night. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that's a yeah. sad so, one, man. It's a sad fail, but then I came back and raided the refrigerator. <laughs> so I was like, eh, there's Did like, you find a beer in there? Yeah, there's like a can of Guinness probably from a year ago or something. Okay, but it's like, good, eh, good, it's good. still good. There's always something in the fridge. Yeah. So. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, the, the, we got strict times here, you know, we're like in Ireland and the UK, like we're all a bunch of alcoholics, you know. If they let us buy yeah. alcohol willy nilly, the place would be a mess. Like, yeah, they stop yeah. serving at ten o'clock. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. in the in the shops, oh, the pubs, they serve the pubs. Right. Later. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So yeah, that was kind of the ibuprofen you the have to go to the chemist. It was just like a double whammy. Like, uh, that was, nope, can't get it. And I was like, mm. and I was like, oh, I'll get a beer then. <laughs> nope, can't have that either. <laughs> okay, I'm just Shame. gonna go home with my tail between my legs. Yeah. What's your fail of the week, Ross? 
Um, my fear of the week happened um, uh, today. <laughs> um, I was sparring today, doing well, feeling sharp, you know, um, nip, being quite nippy with everyone, da, 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 very good. Um, and on the, literally the last second before Scott shouted yammy, I went for a normal ash and Donald. Dono was here in the morning training, which was very nice, but he lifted his knee up as I started kicking and I caught my ankle Eey. off his knee a week out and it is is very burny, which Ouch. isn't good. Yeah, it's burny, which is uh, bad. So I'm, I'm going to have to ice that later on. Um, then some deep heat and then more ice and blah, blah, blah. So uh, to do that a week out, when, um, the last very last <laughs> second of sparring was a... Uh, <laughs> mm, yeah. stupid, so. There were a few knocks um, this morning. I got hit in the jaw. Yeah. Still a bit sore. Tough boys. Tough boys. Yeah. Um, forgot. No complaining. Also, no um, complaining. also uh, I think I have to do another uh, another one that, that's been haunting me for a wee while. Is, uh, we done Unsu last week. And just the the two Malashigeris on the ground. If anyone's ever seen me do them. That's the bane of my existence. <laughs> that is, if there was ever an Achilles heel to my karate, it's those fucking kicks, man. I just can't. I just can't do them. Scott described you as a bag of potatoes on the dojo floor. Yeah, <laughs> I have it on video. <laughs> you have on video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I edited that bit out. <laughs> it's on Instagram. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that was a. That was that was tough. Oh, don't be sad now. Fails of the week are supposed to be funny. That's not funny. That's uh, <laughs> funny for everyone else. For me, it was, uh, it's something that uh, will be fixed after this grading. Focus on the grading, then revisit Unsu. I think I'm going to make Unsu my kata. I'm going to really? do a Yahara. Yahara hates it, and then he turns it into his his sort of, you know, his stamp and his karate as he's Unsu. I think. Uh, Is that why he does Unsu? Because he hated it. Yeah, he you know, he, he wrote that in an article. He said he, he hated it um, for so long, and then. It became his his, his kata. I don't care how I, I hate Sochin a lot, but that's never going to be my kata. I'm going to make it your kata. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Sochin's the best man. But no, I, I think uh, that that those kicks, man, are the biggest fail ever. And <laughs> like the literally, I, I really like I was talking earlier on about you know wanting to be the best all the way. Like until I do that, I'm always going to think of myself as just utter garbage. So. Um, Jeez, you're you're just not okay with not being able to do something, huh? It drives me crazy, man. I need to be the best at everything, and everyone's better than me. Everyone in the world is better, is better than me at those fucking kicks. So, um, uh, yeah, that's my my new goal after this grading is to. You'll have it sorted out in no time, man. Mm, it's been a while. Uh, <laughs> normally, I can fix stuff straight. Uh, like that's the other thing. If I get like told to fix something, normally it's a. Uh, Immediate, you know, yeah. it's, it's, you know, fixed within a week. This has been years, you know. Oh. I'm fair, I don't dedicate that much time to it, but I think you think you could be able to get the hang of it, you know. <sighs> fail. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> depressing fail. Yeah. All right, it's been an emotional podcast, folks. We've had anger. We've had sadness. <laughs> We've had success. For Kevin. 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 One last time. <laughs> well done, man. Yeah, good well job. Well done, Kevin. Oh, thank very you, guys. Well. Oh, hey, very supportive. Bows and us, folks. Thanks for listening. Oh. Oh.